Liquidity is whether you can sell, buy or sell certain things. You can have a 30-year treasury bond, and yes, the maturity is 30 years, but you can sell it, no problem. So it's very liquid. Your mortgage is not very liquid. You know, who do you sell it to? Now, banks actually started selling to Wall Street, but that's exactly the point. They, they render your illiquid mortgage into something that can be bought and sold. So they do liquidity transformation. They also do credit transformation. Now, your credit might be 730 FICO or whatever, and you still qualify for a mortgage, but a bank has a better credit than you because it has a capital buffer and then has the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation that says if the bank cannot make it, the government will step in. And so, as you can see, if you look at this, the bank has done maturity, credit, and liquidity transformation with the things that it has on its assets and turned them into liabilities that can be used as money today by everybody. And by the way, I'm a big fan of local currencies, but local currencies do not have the ability to transform liquidity, maturity, and credit. And that is the power of the banking system as set up now, which we should retain, but just be mindful of how destructive it can be if this power and, and privilege is used just for profit maximization issues, uh, goals. All right, so we've seen what the banks are good for. What is the awesome power of banks? Can basically, uh, again, give you a free pass. You are in a, in a crunch, you are going to go bust. Well, you can go to the bank and they can breathe a little bit more life into your business. Uh, banks' liabilities are our money. In other words, they create the money we use. It's a tremendous power. And the banks support and encourage what they monetize. That's why they supported the real estate market by monetizing a lot of the promises to buy those houses. We didn't build all new houses. We just chased the same set of houses with more and more money going after it, with larger and larger mortgages. That's why it's so hard to, for young people to afford to buy a home. And why in the 50s, the median home was about uh, one year worth of salary, median salary, and now is six, seven times that much. This 